sulfuric chemotherapy plus either cetuximab or bevacizumab. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to, to report today on the results of the German Fire Suite trial in behalf of my co-authors from the German AIO. To give you just a short ba uh, background on the trial, colon cancer is the second most frequent cancer in the Western world and is recognized as the second most frequent cause of cancer-related deaths. 40 to 50 percent of colon cancer patients develop metastatic disease to which most will finally succumb. Much effort is presently undertaken to develop more effective treatment strategies. One already successful <coughs> approach is to combine chemotherapy with targeted agents inhibiting either cell proliferation or androgenesis. So far, it is unclear which targeted agent, cetuximab or bevacizumab, should be used preferentially in first-line treatment. This is specifically important since both drugs markedly differ, not only with regard to their mechanism of action, but also with regard to their profile of side effects. The FIRE 3 trial aims to determine the optimal first-line choice between cetuximab and bevacizumab. FIRE 3 is a randomized phase 3 trial comparing fault theory plus cetuximab versus Fulfury plus bevacizumab in first-line treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer. Fulfury is a standard combination chemotherapy widely used in metastatic uh, colorectal cancer. Cetuximab is a monoclonal antibody that targets the EGFR pathway, and bevacizumab acts as an inhibitor of the vascular endothelial growth factor. 592 patients with KRAS wild-type tumors were included in the study. They defined the intent to treat population. Among these, 526 patients were accessible for efficacy. This means that patients had undergone at least three cycles of treatment and had at least one post-baseline imaging procedure. Standard inclusion and exclusion criteria were applied. And most importantly, when it became known that cetuximab was active only in patients with KRAS Walsh type tumors, an amendment to the study was performed in 2008 that confined the study population to KRAS Walsh type patients. This population represents a majority, approximately 60% of metastatic colorectal cancer patients. Baseline characteristics were comparable between the study arms. Median age was 64 to 65 years. Median follow-up in the trial was 33 and 39 months, respectively. The event rate was 53% and 63% for um, the secondary endpoint, which was overall survival. The slide clearly demonstrates um, a separation of the survival curves. Accordingly, the key finding of the trial is that a significantly longer survival was obtained in patients receiving fault fury plus cetuximab in comparison to fault fury plus bevacizumab. Median survival in the cetuximab arm was 3.7 months longer than in the comparator arm. This was accompanied by a hazard ratio of 0.77, which means that patients in the cetuximab arm had an about 23% lower risk of death during the observation period. With regard to the primary endpoint, overall survival, the study indicates only a trend in favor of Holtheory plus ituximab when the intent to treat population was evaluated. However, in accessible patients where the, drug, where the true drug effect can be evaluated, a significant difference of about 10% was observed in favor of the cetuximab arm, which we believe also relates to the survival benefit. Progression-free survival was identical between both arms. In summary, objective response rate favored for theory plus cetuximab, but did not reach the level of significance in the ITT population. However, objective response rate was significantly greater in patients receiving Fulfury plus cetuximab 
compared to patients um, receiving fault free plus better system up in the accessible patients. No difference in progression free survival between both arms could be observed. And overall survival was significantly longer with a hazard ratio of 0.77 in patients treated with fault free plus cetuximab. In conclusion, Fire 3 is the first head to head comparison of fault fury plus cetuximab versus fault fury plus bevacizumab in KRAS wild type metastatic colorectal cancer patients. First line treatment with fault fury plus cetuximab resulted in a clinically meaningful difference in median overall survival of 3.7 months when compared to fault fury plus bevacizumab. Toxicity profiles were as expected and manageable for both combinations. Based on our findings, we believe that substantial gain in survival can be achieved when doctors offer cetuximab-based treatment as first-line treatment to their patients with KRAS wild-type metastatic colorectal cancer. Thank you.